when you go shopping for a used car these days, one of the first things a salesperson will show you typically is the Carfax. Absolutely. It's supposed to be a helpful, comprehensive report on the vehicle's history, accidents and all. But Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis says that report isn't a lot of help if it turns out to be a fake. Randy? No help at all, Russ. Yeah, Carfax is understandably proud of their service. 18 billion records in their database. But what happens when some of those less attractive records somehow disappear from the report when the dealer gives it to the customer? If I pull up there some raggedy piece of junk, then <laughs> yeah, he's not doing too well, so why would we do business with him? That's why Arthur Watley says he always drives BMWs. This 2008 535i is his eighth and the only one he truly hates. When did you start to see problems with it? Immediately. Immediately. <laughs> That's funny. Not really. He thought he asked all the right questions before doing business at Used Imports Auto in Roswell. I said, well, let me see the Carfax. He brought the Carfax out to my wife and I looked at it. It said one owner. But here's the Carfax we got for that BMW straight from the Carfax website. It shows Wiley is actually the fifth owner, not the second. And check out what it says at the top of the page. Wiley bought a used BMW listed as a lemon. If I'd have seen that, I already knew I had a bad car. There's no way I'd have dri driven off the car lot. In his complaint to the Georgia Office of Consumer Protection, Wiley accused Use Imports Auto of selling him a car based on fraudulent information, saying there was no bad information on the Carfax they showed my wife and I. With the lemon warning on the Carfax report, Wiley says when he tried to sell it, he could get only $4,000. He paid 16000 I don't know how they done it, but with technology today, you, you, if you can make money, certainly you can make, <laughs> you can make a, a new car fax. Can a car fax really become a car fake? We emailed Used Imports Auto as just another customer, asking about this 2014 Nissan Pathfinder advertised on their website. We already got the Carfax on our own. It listed severe damage from an accident in Alabama last year. But check out the Carfax emailed to us by someone named Shires of the Used Imports Auto Sales Team. One of the pages has information cut off at the bottom. And instead of severe damage, the Carfax the dealership sent us said only accident reported. Instead of major damage reported to right front, right rear, and right side, the Used Imports Auto Carfax said it was just minor damage and only to the right front on sale for 17 grand. Minor is usually cosmetic, dense scratches. We checked out that 2014 Nissan Pathfinder in person. One of our producers asking about that supposed minor accident on the Carfax they emailed us. So this comes straight from Carfax official? Yes, we don't, gotcha. I mean, I don't think that uh, we have the way to move them around, so obviously, yes, it come from the car. Remember that one, hold that for a second. Okay. And then look at this one. We took our evidence to floor manager Sonny Kotek. He says he feels bad about what we found. Actually, I feel really bad. He's disturbed, too. I mean, if that's the truth, that is disturbing. That's right. Is it possible someone in your company is faking these car faxes, taking out damaging information? I'm a computer editor completely. What I do is what I see right here, this is what I go with. He points out that the used imports auto website lets customers click on the Carfax themselves, the link going straight to the Carfax website. But of the 98 cars on their website, we found 19 of them that did not have the free Carfax feature, requiring you to ask the dealer directly if you wanted a free copy. All but one of those 19 had been in accidents, including that Pathfinder we picked out two of them with structural damage. So it was a major accident on your report. Mm -hmm. Look what it says on the report that they sent us. Minor damage. If that information has been somehow purposely removed, we don't condone any tactic used to mislead consumers. The owner of Used Imports Auto is John Malik, seen here on his LinkedIn page. Years ago, he also owned a company called Alpha Cars on the same lot. In 2012, the state of Georgia reached an agreement with Malik after Alpha Cars customers complained they had bought cars with undisclosed accidents. Without admitting wrongdoing, Malik agreed to pay a $25,000 fine and cease advertising that motor vehicles they offer for sale have no known accident history when the advertised motor vehicles have a known accident history. Malik's attorney said the dealership, quote, has not and does not modify Carfax reports and does not encourage employees or anyone else to do so. 
He could not explain how he wound up with one, though, or why Arthur Wiley says he was shown bad information, too. People work too hard for their money. And, 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 and you know, it's too hard to come by for people just to can just rip you off with no remorse. He says he's afraid to take his lemon BMW more than 100 miles from his house for fear it will quit on him and he'll have to call his wife to come get him. Imagine that. No, it's just not right. So, so what happened to the Pathfinder that you were shopping for? We went back to talk to the company. It had been sold. Hmm. So I'd love to know really? which Carfax was used to sell that Pathfinder and whether it made a difference to that person. So the takeaway, it sounds like, is you've always got to get the Carfax independently so that you know what you're getting is accurate. Make sure they print it out in, right there in your presence. Make sure they print it out. Okay. Don't just hand it to you. It's it already been printed. Right. You have a better chance of making sure you got a, a good one, and not a fake one. Because it never would have occurred to me not to trust it. Yep. Yeah. Randy, thanks.